PAD or peripheral arterial disease, which is basically hardening the arteries inside the leg arteries, is becoming more and more common, particularly in patients with diabetes and patients that survive heart disease. They start to get these blockages in the leg arteries, and it's very incapacitating in many patients, or in some cases, patients have such bad blood flow, they have a potential to lose a limb, or lose a toe, lose a foot, lose a leg. So traditionally we can treat blockages in the heart with very miniaturized balloons and miniaturized stents. The stents are little scaffoldings we leave in the arteries afterwards. Traditionally, we haven't had that for the leg arteries. First of all, the leg arteries tend to have uh, a lot of discrepancy in size. So we'll open up an artery that's this size and it narrows to an area much smaller. You can't really treat that with a stent. So we needed a different kind of therapy, and uh, we were fortunate to introduce to Arizona a treatment developed by the people at Bard, um, a drug-eluting balloon. This is a sophisticated balloon that not only inflates the blocked artery, but it is coated with a medication that inhibits cell growth. It's, it's like a cancer medication, but a much, much, much lower dose, and it's delivered just to the wall of the artery and then we of course take the balloon out within a few minutes and then the patient usually goes home two to three hours later. So we're going to save uh, not only limbs but save the quality of life. For